Hi everyone, in today's quick video I'm going to show you how you can make this carrot bag for your spring decor out of burlap. The first thing I wanted to do was to dirty these carrots up a little bit. I picked these carrots up at the Dollar Tree and I just sprayed down some of my uh, brown uh, wax, I think that is. Um, I'm just going to spray it down with a little bit of water to thin it out and paint it on the carrots to make them look a little grungy, a little dirty like I just pulled them out of the ground. Here yeah, I'm just using a paper towel to kind of squeeze some of the color out of it because it got a little bit dark um, and to help it dry a little bit. I'll also hit this with my heat gun to have it dry a little bit quicker because I am impatient. Next you're going to want to grab your burlap and just cut it to the size that you want. And then I grab my um, twine and I'm going to grab my big needle and go ahead and just sew a simple stitch around the bag. I do apologize for the angle of this and you really can't see me sewing but I think you kind of get the idea that it's just a simple stitch around the bag. I created this at uh, one of our live makers meetups. Um, to show my followers, or my members I should say, um, how to make this simple uh, spring decor. If you're interested in joining our membership called Makers Meetup, I will leave a link uh, in the description below. It's basically, it's we meet once a week live on Zoom, and it's $25 for the whole month. So you just come and you craft with us and chat and we can look for inspiration from other people that are in a membership and kind of see what uh, they're doing. And it's also a time just for you to set aside for yourself to do something fun and creative. After I trimmed off the excess on the sides, I'm just going to go ahead and fold this down to uh, make it kind of a cuff on the top of the bag. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stitch that down. I do want to apologize for my voice again. Uh, it's been probably six weeks and I'm still getting over laryngitis. So here I am using drop cloth material that I'm going to um, stamp the words carrots or stamp the word carrots on top of it. So you can use drop cloth, you can use whatever you want, any other kind of material. You could maybe just pick a pink fabric for spring or yellow or whatever color you want. Um, but I happen to have a lot of this drop cloth around because I like doing crafts with drop cloths. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and cut it out. And then I'm going to use the IOD um, stamps, I believe they're called letter press, uh, to spell the word carrots out and I will stamp that on with a black uh, permanent ink. I purchase all of my IOD products from Sweet and Sassy Treasures. I will leave a link to their website below where you can order and they will happily ship them to you. Since I need two R's for this, as you can see, I left a spot for another R. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and when I release it from here, I'm going to clean off the stamp and then move the R over next to the A so I can hopefully place it right. And then I will just ink the R and then stamp the R right in the middle there.
as you can see the R in the carrots or the second R in the carrots didn't it kind of turned out crooked but that's okay uh, next I'm taking a 0.5 for five cents because I do not have the cent um, symbol in this package so I just put 0.5 and I think um, people will get the idea that carrots are five cents so I'm going to go ahead and stitch this on again with the um, twine and it's just a simple stitch going all the way around I go ahead and grab some of this shipping paper that came with something that I ordered and I'm just going to crumple it up and stuff it into the uh, the bag to give it some dimension make it look like it's full I'm going to take this brown hay, grassy stuff, I don't know what you want to call it, and I'm just going to stick it in the top as well as put the four carrots um, inside. And then I have this wire, um, but I want to grunge it up a little bit, so I'm going to measure it here, figure out how much I want. And then um, off video, I go ahead and grunge it up with some uh, Mod Podge and cinnamon, and it makes it look rusty. And here it is all finished. As you can see the wire piece that I cut, like I said I grunged it up with Mod Podge and cinnamon. You just go over it with the Mod Podge and while it's still wet you sprinkle the cinnamon on there and let it dry. So not only does it look good, it smells good as well. This is Jeannie with Makers Unify. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and have a DIY day.